What's up, but it's Rob, this is Apparel Success. And I run a multiple six-figure clothing brand here in Canada called KBud. So I help clothing brands like yours get really good results. And what I wanna show you is how I plan on taking my clothing brand from a multiple six-figure clothing brand in 2021 to a seven-figure clothing brand in 2022. And this is just a goal that I'm setting for my clothing brand, but I wanna show you how I plan on realistically achieving this goal and what changes I plan on making inside of my clothing brand in order to reach it. So I hope you get a lot out of this. Here it is. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. If designs are something that you need help with, give them a shot. These designs absolutely crush on my website and I got them all made through Design Crowd. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. So as we approach the end of the year here, we're in the first week of December. It's looking like my clothing brand will finish 2021 at right around a half a million dollars in revenue. And this got me thinking about how I can take my clothing brand from this six-figure company to a seven-figure company in 2022. And I know that in order to do this, I'm really going to have to think about the ways that I can change things up, what I can do to improve to really help expand my company to 2x its size and to double its size from what it currently is right now. And I want to show you my thoughts around this how 2021 broke down and sort of the growth that I experienced this year and what I plan to do to really get my company to that seven figure mark in 2022. If you're a pretty new clothing brand right now and you don't have much experience with this, what I'm about to tell you here is something to remember and keep in your back pocket as you continue to grow your brand. What I've experienced over the past five and a half years growing my brand is whatever revenue number I hit in the month of November during the Black Friday sale, and all the madness before the holidays, tends to be the average number of sales that I get every month as I move forward into the next year. So I'm gonna show you a really clear example of this for my own clothing brand. Last November, November 2020, my clothing brand did $35,007 in revenue. And at that time, last year, when I was going through that Black Friday sale and when I was going through that month, that was an absolutely huge month for my clothing brand back in 2020. I remember being super excited about it, super happy about it. Holy crap, I reached a whole new level with my clothing brand, $35,000 in revenue in one month. Fast forward four months later to March 2021, and my clothing brand does $37,447 in revenue. So that $35,000 that I did in November that was this huge deal during Black Friday, four months later just became basically an average month. In April, of 2021, the month after March, we did $42,289 in revenue. And this month that I had in November that was so big in 2020 became basically the average month throughout the year of 2021. Up until this Black Friday, where this Black Friday I did basically $70,000 in revenue for my own clothing brand. So based on this trend, and I've experienced this almost every single year as I've been growing my brand, based on this trend, I can expect that you know, if I continue to move forward at the pace that I'm moving at, the average month should become close to $70,000 in revenue as I enter into March and April of 2022. So if I can get my clothing brand up to $70,000, $80,000 per month in revenue on average in 2022, well, what does a $1 million year look like? $1 million divided by 12, which is how many months there are in the year, is $83,333 per month on average your clothing brand would need to be doing in revenue. So you can see how, you know, if I can get my clothing brand up to that average of around $70,000, $80,000 per month um, throughout the year, next Black Friday, based on how things are going, maybe I do $100,000, $110,000 in sales for my clothing brand. And that bumps my clothing brand up to the seven-figure a year range. Now, in order for me to actually make this happen, there are obviously things that I need to do to get my clothing brand to this level. And I've really narrowed it down to three main things that I have to work on in the new year to really get my clothing brand to this point. The first one is increasing the ad spend for my clothing brand. Right now, the ad spend mixed with the revenue is creating profit. It's flying so well. So I really need to keep scaling up my ad spend just so that I'm driving enough traffic to my website to generate a million dollars in sales. 
right? I'm also working on new organic strategies on Instagram. I just created a post on Instagram that absolutely smashed. It's kind of a new format. And I'm gonna keep playing around with that and try to try to do the organic thing as well. But number one, just to be straight to the point and focused, is increase ad spend. The second thing in order to hit that million dollar per year mark is increased inventory, investing in more inventory. Because you need to have a million dollars worth of clothing on hand to sell in order to make that money in the first place. So I'm gonna be investing in way more inventory, having way more available for people to purchase so that I don't go through these months of lulls where I'm out of stock in certain things that people are asking for. And the third one is coming out with new products more regularly. I have a pretty big email list now and a pretty big fan base of people who have bought a lot of my products. And to be completely frank with you here, <laughs> frank, to be completely frank with you here, I haven't come out with new products frequently enough because I have a lot of customers that love the brand. They're waiting for new products, but I haven't been dropping enough where the repeat customers really help get that revenue up. So the three things would be increase my ad spend, invest in more inventory and release new products more frequently, which involves working with more designers, coming out with things more quickly and working on those logistical things faster than I've been doing in the past. And that's how I plan on doing it. And once again, this is just a goal that I'm setting, but I think that by seeing how I've broken this down, you can, you can say to yourself, well, you know, maybe you're only doing a thousand dollars a month right now for your clothing brand. That's cool. That's kind of where I started as well. Well, plan on how next year, you know, you can maybe get it up to $5,000 a month for your clothing brand and what that will look like how you can get it there, what types of things you can change, what types of things you can do to really hit those marks. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you got a lot of value out of this video, please hit the like button for me and let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and watch the whole thing for free. And if you made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for apparel success. Link in the description, follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.